story is about an invention that may not save lives, but it could make many Canadians a lot happier about driving on the roads come springtime. The reason? It's a cool invention to fill potholes without all the back-breaking work. In fact, the machine pretty much takes care of itself. Doug Bergman, we salute you. Every year you see them. The ugly scars of winter. Cracks and potholes. And every year, crews step into dangerous situations to repair them. Doug Berman, an inventor at heart, thought there had to be a better way. I was out one day with a road superintendent and seen some people pothole patching by hand. And I was close and right there, and the one guy said, my back is getting sore, you know. And the superintendent said, okay, finish this bit and go back to the shop. And it, I thought, and I said to the superintendent, we can put a man on the moon and we have to fix roads this way? Come on. To fix them is backbreaking. It takes a crew of three or four, shoveling out asphalt, raking it over, and tamping it down by hand. I'm going to do something about that. I'm going to build a box to put on a truck that does the work of three men. Doug decided to build something like the grain hoppers you see on farms. You'd open the door, the grain would come out, you'd put it in the feed cart, and you'd feed the animals. We did that here. We put the product in the box, we feed the box, then we open the door and we put it on the road. His invention, which he calls the pavement edger pothole patcher, is made at a welding plant near Waterloo, Ontario. After it's built, it can be installed on a truck, but not just any truck. This is a salt and sander truck, and we have to have this type of a truck it's the only type of a truck it works on because we put the product in the box and this cross conveyor here takes the product from the truck which is brought up by a conveyor in the truck, a chain conveyor, dumps it into the box. Today, Doug is out demonstrating his creation. We're out here because uh, we identified this area as being a problem. The road uh, drops off here. Cars can be driving down this road, right side tire can fall off the road and the car can end up in the ditch there. We're going to come with a pavement edger and we're going to do this from a way back there where the orange line starts all the way up there to where it finishes, we will probably do all of that in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes. One man, one truck. Normally, the five-man crew would take probably four hours minimum if things went really well. Quite a crowd has turned up to see this thing work. Guys from the construction industry who work daily on the roads. Drop it just a little bit. Before they start paving, they set the height of the street. The steel piece on the bottom of the hopper that will level the asphalt as the truck passes over it. A door on the hopper opens with hydraulics and out pours the asphalt. Jack D'Souza is a road maintainer in Kitchener, Ontario. He's had a few chances to try this machine out. We had it for about two days. Uh, we used it and we were really impressed with uh, what it could do. Uh, what we like about it is the amount of material that uh, the machine uses. Um, we use about six tons in about five, ten minutes. And compared to the, our, our old methods, we were doing six tons in a quarter of a day. And also, our old methods were you probably need a five, six man crew. With this, you only need two people to do this. After the asphalt is laid, you can use a roller to flatten it down. But Doug feels it's an unnecessary step. Now, what we're promoting mostly is that they put them on tandem trucks, which have two sets of wheels on the back. And the back set of wheels you take off and you put what they call a super wide on. And that super wide eliminates this immediately. Looks good here. Time to see how well it works out on potholes. Okay, we have a pothole here that was repaired by hand. As you can see, it's obvious. And the product didn't stay in the pothole. And the reason it didn't stay in the pothole is because it wasn't packed properly. We're going to put 10,000 pounds on top of our patch. We're going to pull up to this with the truck. We drop the pothole patcher. We open a door at the front. And the product will run out. We'll close the door. We will screed it off. And what you'll end up seeing is a real nice patch that's been packed with 10,000 pounds. And he's off to the next pothole. OK, hey guys, that's it. No crews on the street shoveling and tamping down asphalt in the middle of traffic. Doug's pretty happy with the performance of his invention so far. What we've designed is we've actually done this. But he's still fine-tuning it. Improvements like adding a spring to the foot at the bottom of the hopper so it rides smoothly over the bumps. Doug is even considering cameras. You'll see on the camera that his box is full. He'll see the pothole. He'll see the edge of the road. 
He'll see whatever he's doing through that camera. So far, he's already sold 110 pavement edger pothole patchers. It seems when people see his invention, they can't help thinking just like Doug. I think what this is is just common sense.